Mix in the wet dry at 50%. You can hide your face. Okay, let's shorten that up as far as time goes. Make that a third, 33%. You can hide your face or choose to follow me. Okay, that's coming out nice. Now we're going to um, add some super hard auto tune to that. And we're going to put this before the reverb, before the choir, and before the voice designer. Um, and I already know that the key is A major because I've been working with this for a while. Turn that retune speed all the way up, like hip hop style. Don't worry about it, it'll sound nice in the end. The time has come now. Yeah, that's it right there. And we're going to add some tap delay, nothing special. Wave super tap is just fine. Okay, that's starting to come out the way I want to. Let me... Okay, that sounds just the way I want it. Now we're going to put some hard, hard Waves L316. That's their 16 band super maximizer here. And I like the Waves L316 just because it makes it... it <laughs> You can make something really quiet, put this filter over it, and it'll still sound like it's loud. That's the whole point of a maximizer. Um, and this one does this the best. Anyway, and we just put that threshold down like 24 decibels and give it a warm analog with low separation between. The time has come now. is just is strictly just for effect that's effect track on its own you can mix the two together and you get something that sounds like uh, like this the time has come now to face yeah let's put some auto tune on that main voice while we're thinking about it the time has come now to face your destiny. You can hide your faith or choose to follow me. I like it. I like it a lot. And, uh, <laughs> and that's all there is to it. I mean, you can add more stuff to that. You can take it away. You can add a compressor on the very end of that to punch it up some more. But that's the gist of it. All we've got on this effect track is very hard auto-tune, voice designer with uh, octave higher mixed in with the original, no form and adjustment, and a nice choir sound, or an choir effect, very good convolution reverb, basic tap, stereo tap delay, and some really, really hard limiting at the very end. Very hard. It's very important that you get a very hard limiter at the end of that. And then mix that with the original, you know, 20 decibels quieter than your source track, 
and that's your mix. So anyway, that's how I do vocals, and anyone can do this. It doesn't take a superhero. It might take some money, but I mean, if you like music, you'll do it. <laughs>